And now, this is News 10 Midday. Well, welcome back. We're joined now by Sacramento Philharmonic piano soloist Richard Glazier. Richard is a Gershwin expert, and this coming weekend we'll be playing a salute to Harold Arlen. Tunes such as Somewhere Over the Rainbow and that old Black Magic, and there are just, I mean, you could go on and on and on about It's songs. really quite remarkable when you start naming the song titles of Harold Arlen. Andre Previn once said, when you start naming his songs, it's like counting the gold bars at Fort Knox. <laughs> That's very good. That's yeah. very good. It's really true. And there was so much wonderful music uh, from that era. Absolutely. And Harold Arlen probably was one of the great song composers of that uh, era. And uh, regrettably, not many people know who he is. They certainly mm -hmm. know his songs, right, but they right. don't know uh, they don't know who he was. Right, they I mean, don't know the name even. I mean, he, can you imagine he wrote the number one song in the history of the 20th century, Over the Rainbow, he wrote that old black magic and One for My Baby, One for the Road and mm -hmm. Let's Fall in Love and Stormy Weather and Blues in the Night and The Man That Got Away and uh, just Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, Down with Love. Mm -hmm. I mean, the list just goes mm -hmm. on and on. Well, now, you're nationally renowned as a Gershwin expert. Right. That's how I learned about Arlen in the first place, correct? Well, and, and, and it seems to me here you've got this era of this type of music. How come that type of thing uh, uh, went away? I mean, what, what was it about that era? Well, that I think uh, I've been asked that question before, and I think in the 1960s there were two uh, elements that kind of brought the American popular song out of fashion. and now, uh, of course, being the Beatles mm -hmm. and Elvis Presley. Mm, As a matter of fact, there was a film made in 1957 called Silk Stockings with Fred Astaire. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, it was kind of one of the last breath of the Hollywood, golden age of the Hollywood musical at MGM. And the producers in that film tried to put Astaire into a kind of rock and roll type of number. And it, you know, it just didn't work. You could mm -hmm. see that Fred was trying, but he was, it was not his element. Right. Well, now this is the second time you'll be playing with, with the Philharmonic. Correct. We did a Gershwin salute in May of 2003, but Harold Arlen was born uh, February 15th, uh, 1905 in, in Buffalo, New York. And so uh, Maestro Morgan uh, thought it appropriate to have a Harold Arlen uh, celebration with his Sacramento Philharmonic. And I'm overjoyed that he asked me to participate in that celebration once again. Well, now we don't have a piano here, but we do have a. But piano. I love a piano. Do you know who wrote that song? <laughs> no, I don't. Irving Berlin. <laughs> okay, there you go. Well, I, I was going to say, here you go. You can hear the, the strains. This is actually you this is, playing. This is yes. This is an original uh, transcription of a '78 record of George Gershwin uh, when he played "Swonderful" for Columbia Records in the 1920s, and this is the recreation of that performed by me. Oh, ah, okay. Uh, well, let, let's listen for a second. Sure. Richard, I have to ask you, you have such a, a wonderful history and a wonderful story of how you got into the into music in the first place. Right. You've got to share that with when us. When I was nine years old, I wrote a fan letter to Ira Gershwin, and he answered. And we had a correspondence which culminated when I was 12 years old. In 1975, he invited me to uh, 1021 North Roxbury Drive in Beverly Hills, and I got to meet the great lyricist of the 20th century, wow. one of the great lyricists, and play on his brother's personal piano, George Gershwin's piano. I played at the age of 12, Embraceable You and Love is Here to Stay. If that's not inspiration, I don't know what is. <laughs> and it was the result of that meeting that helped to really define the course of, of my life. It was that encouragement that he gave me on that afternoon and uh, wow. the communication that we were able to establish it sticks with me forever. And it's a message that I try to pass on to younger people as I travel around, around the country going to schools and trying to encourage other children's dreams and uh, try to make them reality. Well, that's great. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, where we can see you in person, and that is when the Sacramento Philharmonic takes the stage Sunday, March 13th at 2 p.m. Now, the concert is at the Memorial Auditorium, and for tickets and more information, you can call the Community Center box office at 916-264-5181, or you can log on to news10.net for a link to the Philharmonic's website. And it was very nice hearing you there a little bit, but uh, I think it would be much more fun to see you in person. Well, thank you very much. Nice to be here, Jonathan. So, it was very nice seeing you. Yeah. All right. Well, it's time for our Monday midday makeover, so let's uh, shoot it over to Dan. Then. All right. Thank you, Jonathan and Richard. You know the drill. Laura DePriest from the Laura DePriest Salon and Day Spa is here. And who